Tech giant Microsoft now heading to Morrisville and bringing with it 500 high paying jobs. An agreement with the state guarantees a minimum average salary of at least $125,000. Serious 17's Holden Kerwicki digging deeper to find out just what it took to secure the big deal. It is truly a great day for Morrisville. In front of a packed house at the Wake County Justice Center, North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper announced Microsoft is bringing 500 new jobs to Morrisville. You know, it's a positive sign for our tech workforce in North Carolina. We know that we are a place that can attract these kinds of technology companies. Microsoft Director of Economic Development Reggie Isaac says one of the selling points for his company is the ability to partner with local universities to keep the top 10 in the triangle. The jobs will be highly technical um, in nature and we really feel like we can find that talent here and grow our operations and also invest here in Raleigh. Another selling point for Microsoft were millions in incentives. North Carolina is never at the top of a list when it comes to incentives. Ours are uh, not as robust as some other states. That doesn't appear to be the case in this instance. According to the job development investment grant I obtained from the governor's office, Microsoft will receive $1.9 million in local incentives and another $12.9 million from the state, while their main competitor in Texas offered just over a million. $12 million over 12 years is not uh, that much when you consider this is a $2.1 billion investment. In order to receive those incentives, Microsoft has to hire 500 new employees over the next four years. We're trying to send the signal that we are ready for tech companies and that uh, we need to be at the top of their list. In doing so, Cooper says this move could open a window to the state's economic future. In Raleigh, Holden Kerwicki, CBS 17 News.